Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Min here and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul. Now, there's going to be two parts to this haul because I did get two packages and one is what I ordered from Sephora.sg and they also sent me a package full of NARS stuff. So this is to celebrate the launch of NARS on Sephora.sg and I guess I'll start with this one because it's definitely more exciting. The very first item that I'm going to pull out is this. This is the Narcissus Cheek Studio Palette and I've been wanting this for quite a while now. My best friend May has it and I've been stealing it every time I go over to her place. This is what it looks like. Um, it comes with... Ew, it's so dirty. But yeah, it comes with like a mirrored case which is super 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 pretty. So we have a highlight, two contour shades and four blushes. Now this is the Paloma highlight with the Paloma bronzer and then this is Laguna. For the blushes, you have one, two and three and these three are actually exclusive to this palette. And the last blush here is called Gulu. Gulu, I think that's what it is. So anyway, I love NARS blushes. Um, they are one of my favorites actually. I've been wanting to get a blush palette for a while now and couldn't be happier that I got this one now. So that's the Cheek Studio palette from NARS. Next up, I've got the Orgasm Blusher and this is actually a limited edition special release. So it's super sized. Normally the blushes from NARS come in like half the size. So this one is like a larger one and it also comes in a special packaging on the inside. So you have Orgasm emblazoned on the top here. On the inside, it looks like that. You get a transparent sheet with the, what do you call this? Um, campaign photo printed on it. Super cool. And fun fact, this blusher from NARS was what got me hooked into, you know, becoming a narcissist. So if you've never tried NARS products before, I would highly recommend you get this. It's definitely a great first product to get from NARS and you'll definitely fall in love with the brand just like how I did. The next item I have here is the Multiple and this is also in the shade Orgasm. Now the Multiple is actually just like a cream stick product that you can use all over your face. You can use it on your cheeks, on your eyes, on your lips. You can use it as a highlighter. The product is really creamy and easy to blend. I have a few of these Multiples in different shades and I absolutely love them. Next up I have a brush here and this is brush number 21. I believe the bristles are goat. It has a slant and I think this would be perfect for either contouring or for blush. Yeah, because it feels like it fits there real nice. Can't wait to try this one. The last item that I have here from the NARS Care Package is the Yachio Kabuki brush. The bristles are gold as well, I think. And this would be great for powder products, either your blush, your highlight, or you know, just loose powder everywhere would work. I've been wanting this brush for forever. It's kind of pricey, that's why I never really bit the bullet to purchase it. But it's been one of the top products on my list of things that I want from NARS. I cannot wait to use it. And that was it for part one of my Sephora haul. Let's move on to the next one which is the stuff that I ordered online. Part 2 of my Sephora haul is all about tools. Now, I'm somebody who really firmly believes in equipping yourself with tools to really help you beat your face to perfection. And it was time to, you know, refresh and add some new stuff to my collections. So I picked up a bunch of new brushes as well as some other tools and I'm gonna show you what I got. The first brush that I have here is the Sigma Dual Fiber F50 and the reason why I got this brush is because uh, I do have sensitive skin so normal kabuki buffing brushes really do irritate my skin no matter how soft they are it's because they are so dense that it causes quite a lot of abrasion on my skin so I wanted a dual fiber brush so that it will be more gentle on my skin and thankfully it worked and it's definitely a good alternative to applying my liquid foundation besides using a beauty blender. I really do like this brush a lot. I foresee that I'll be using this pretty often in replacement of a beauty blender. Next up, I've got yet another dual fiber brush from Sigma. This is the dual fiber powder blush F15 brush. The reason why I got this is because I'm usually quite heavy handed when applying blush and more often than not, I find myself applying too much where I have to like end up buffing it away with like powder and a larger brush. So I got this one to, you know, kind of restrict my application of blush 
to a minimum and it worked i used it today and i freaking love it it gives a very soft focus and very well blended out look when you apply blush with this the next brush that i have here is from sigma as well this is the large powder f30 brush now i got this one because i needed a new all over the face powder brush and this one does the job perfectly the bristles are also super soft so it's like really nice when you're like applying powder on your face it just feels so good i love it the next brush that i picked up is from zoeva this is the Define Buffer 103 brush. I got this brush primarily for buffing out my contour, especially here on my cheeks. The brush has an itch and slant to it, so it really helps to fit nicely just there in the holes on my cheek as well as under my jawline. The next brush that I have here is the Sigma Precision Angled P84. I got this one initially thinking that I could use it for my nose contour. But because the skin on my nose is especially sensitive, whenever I try to go in with a brush to, you know, add contour product onto it, it kind of takes off the makeup that I already have and turns my nose really red. So when I was using this one earlier today, that's what happened. It picked off the my foundation that was already on my nose. And unfortunately, I'll have to find another use for this because it really didn't work. The last two brushes that I have here are the Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush as well as the Tapered Blending E40 brush. I used these two brushes today to apply my eye makeup and I think it did a pretty good job. They do feel very different from the other eye brushes that I'm more used to because this one is synthetic and I do find that the bristles on these brushes are slightly longer but overall I'm really happy with them they're very well made and the bristles are super soft so the next item that I have here is a beauty blender and it was time to you know retire my old one which I think I've had for about a year plus so these are definitely really good investments and if you're on the fence about getting them just because they're pretty pricey for a sponge you should definitely get them and just look after them well and they can last you a pretty long time. I cannot wait to break this baby in. The last tool that I got here is the Shu Uemura Eyelash Curler. Previously, I was using a eyelash curler from NARS and it's about time to retire that one as well. I've heard a lot of good things and also read a lot of reviews online about how amazing this eyelash curler from Shu Uemura is. So I cannot wait to try it. And that's it. That's all for my Sephora haul. I'll link all of the products mentioned in the info box below. So if there's anything that you're interested in, you can go check it out and shop on Sephora.sg. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!